Well, hello there, guys. I'm very happy to tell you guys that I'm actually going to be playing Tank Warfare Tunisia 1943. The awesome people at Graviteam and, of course, Strategy First have sent me a copy of the game, and I can't wait to get into it, guys. This, of course, focuses on the North African conflict during 1943. Forces of Rommel, of course, uh, and we're going to have definitely a difficult time um, trying to get a victory in this particular uh, game, but I can't wait to show you guys what it's all about, what you can expect here. Let's try and play as the Americans at the Fall Pass and see how we do against the Germans. So first thing that strikes me in this game that is just absolutely beautiful, guys, is the actual scenery. It really does look like Northern Africa. We've got some incredible lakes over here. Um, all sorts of just awesome stuff. In fact, on some of the maps I've seen, as you can see here, there are ruins, ancient ruins, which obviously make a large part of, uh, of the North African landscape. Now, we're going to try to move forward on a major attack with our men. We do have some tanks right here, uh, guys like Meredith, Freeman, etc. Uh, we've also got a lot of other tanks over here, Fanning, Day, etc. And it's our job to attack the Fald area. I'm hoping that by attacking this area, we're going to knock out some Germans. But no matter what happens, this should be an epic battle. Let's jump right in. You know how this usually works. I like to get up close and personal uh, and show you guys what's going on once we actually uh, have a battle going so we are going to be moving forward with a lot of our men in fact this is going to be an all-out attack on the fall area with infantry and tanks let's go ahead grab them and we're going to do an actual uh, attack and from this side over here we're going to be doing an assault in fact i might keep some of those guns back but we'll definitely move forward with some of our infantry units so you guys get an idea here of what to expect uh, when these guys are moving around. All right, guys, the battle has begun. And there we go. We it is looking Americans pretty damn epic already. Ready to move forward. Uh, we're going to jump down here there. and take a look at the pretty. situation. Just look at the amount of actual uh, enemy attacks or enemy defenses attacking us from all sides. We've got some guys attacking us over here on the far right. So we're going to move over there. And uh, we're also moving over here. We can already see some Germans uh, hanging out over here. I'm going to try to engage almost immediately so let's take our boys and start engaging these germans right now come on boys ellis We've got freeman and washington a lot of tanks we're trying to smash through those enemy lines and uh, i'm actually going to send two of these tanks over there to the east because we can see that the enemy is firing at us with unbelievable ferocity here. Come on, Day. Taking some major hits there from the main enemy line. So I want to make sure that our boys are firing right back at it. Let's see how our boys are doing against the men here. Fire, boys, fire. Take cover. Yeah, baby, let him, let it rip. Let it rip. Tanks, you're our saviors in this battle. Looks like Hood has already spotted some enemies, but I need him to be firing constantly. Definitely see we're sending some rounds downstream, but I'm concerned about that right side where we're getting smashed. So we want to go ahead and send some men that way too. Definitely some AT guns over there. I can see them. Let's see how we're doing against these infantry units right here. Beautiful. Keep it in. Keep it coming, boys. See those Germans are actually in pretty good fighting position, but we've already killed a few of them. And hopefully more to follow. 
Keep shooting, boys. Keep shooting. And now they're taking cover. They better take cover or else they're not going to live very long. Oh, boy. We got it. We got artillery coming in. Let's take a look over here. This is where things seem to be going pretty well. You can see all the green smoke kind of trying to cloud the area. up the fire boys let's actually take a look at the german line see what's going on and this is to fight this is the place we need to take immediately they definitely have some mortars firing away at us they're firing those mortars very quickly too fast move donner fast move meredith here on the right side looks like Kidder is already getting some shots off boom keep it up Kidder we're trying to take out those guns on the far east there we go beautiful Definitely a pack gun. Holy shit. It's a nasty shot. Incredibly, it actually hit this sort of uh, rock formation. Pretty much skipped our boys. Keep, keep up the fire, boys. Keep up the fire. Let's also bring Luther forward here, guys. And I can tell the game is so loud that I wonder, I hope you guys can hear me, uh, because it's definitely a very, very loud game. But it sounds beautiful to me. Come on, Hood. Meredith, focus on those boys to the left. Keep it up, boys. Keep moving. Keep moving. We're getting so close to those enemy lines, guys. See Washington firing that Thompson submachine gun. That has got to be painful to the enemy. We've definitely got massive enemy bombardments coming in here. Pretty exciting stuff, guys. Donner, you can do this, boy. I believe in you, son. Meredith is getting mighty close to these Germans. Some epic shots. I think we just killed the mortar. Absolutely wasted it. Look at those dead Germans. Awesome. Let's keep it up, boys. Let's keep it up. Freeman right up the side of the relics over here. Unfortunately, it looks like Luther may be down. 
It's not going to stop us from attacking this position, though. probably hold here. Try to open fire on that location as well, the Eden. Heads down, boys. Be damn careful. Oh, let's see how our tanks are doing. So they're getting mighty close here. Freeman as well. Freeman just took a nasty hit. Hope it's not going to affect him, though. And we're just rolling through here with these tanks, trying to take out as many enemies as possible. You can see that they're trying to use smoke to keep us back. But I don't think it's going to work very well for them. Boom! Beautiful hit right there. Absolutely annihilated a group of uh, Jerry's there. We must take this location, guys. Gonna go in for a full attack with Donner, although I would like my uh, infantry supporting me on this attack. And they're getting pretty damn close. Go for it, man. Go for it. shots off back here. Come on, boys. Faid should be under our control pretty soon, but don't forget, we definitely need to get some infantry over there to take full control of the area. Freeman. Boom. Look at all those dead Germans. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Give them hell. Careful, Donner. They probably have some Panzer Shreks. Oh, boy. What did I tell you? Donner just took a nasty hit. And there we go, guys. Tufaid is now under our control. Absolutely awesome. Some incredible rounds coming in from our boys. What I'm really starting to like is if you guys look at the terrain here, it's absolutely... Uh, making it a little harder for us to target the enemy. The terrain actually seems to matter right now in the fight, which it didn't used to, really. I mean, sure, woods helped, etc., but all this rocky terrain is making it very hard uh, for the enemy, or for us to place shots on the enemy.
massive amounts of incoming fire here as we approach this destination on the far right. And it looks like, yup, that's going to be us taking the key point completely. Just look at all of those burning tanks, burning vehicles, etc. And this may be one of ours. I'm actually not 100% sure. We can see the German tanker. Nope, that's one of theirs. Or maybe it is one of ours. Shit. Might be Donner, actually. Yeah, it definitely is. Look at how he's actually set up right here on the hill. Or on this rocky cliff, uh, trying to still keep fighting the Germans. Pretty soon they're going to have to ask for a ceasefire. There's no doubt about that. going boys keep it going all right we're definitely getting some shots downhill there at them it looks like fanning has been taken out poor jeep driver and actually this thing had an AT gun on the back so we could have used this I don't know how he would have done it. Very interesting looking vehicle there. What's this? Oh, Luther's in trouble. Keep firing, Luther. It looks like his men are trying to get back in the tank. Well, this area, as far as I'm concerned, is almost completely under our control. Of course, we've got some infantry here sort of mopping up the situation. The Germans are not happy. I'm actually seeing some shots over here. I hope that's just smoke and not possibly another enemy unit. I definitely see some men running past this area. Those are our boys, so I don't think it's anything to worry about. Keep moving, men. Keep moving. And look at this. We've got some boys back here we haven't really paid attention to. Peas. A lot of them are just, uh, you know, basically, uh, how could I put this? You know, repair men, repair vehicles, etc. So they're not going to be all that helpful. But even Peas here with that gun on the back, might be able to assist us big time. I hope the enemy asks for a ceasefire soon enough, because I think that we've both had it. It's time to go ahead and let bygones be bygones. Boom! Nice! Right in that trench. Wouldn't really call it a trench, more just a hole. And now probably a grave.
right, we got Hood over here approaching those other enemy lines. We definitely want to move forward on them and keep attacking. This is our only hope of ending the battle soon. Boom! That's what I like to see. Boom! Beautiful hit right there. We might have taken that gun out. Now, obviously, because of the fog of war, we can't see too much, but oh, yes, we did. That's a beautiful kill on that pack gun. Those Germans are not coming back. There's another one over here. I'd love to get a hit on it as well. And I think eventually the enemy's going to have to call for a ceasefire if this keeps up. Starting to see a few more of them over here, actually. I think you guys can see that. See, he's actually using that gun, which is pretty awesome. Oh boy. He just took a nasty hit. Another nasty hit here. They gotta be careful. Fire a piece. Germans over here as well near the ruins. I'm surprised we haven't taken any prisoners yet, especially after this. This is definitely time for the enemy to start surrendering big time or running. Some more enemy contact over there on the other side of the river. Come on, Hood, give him hell. Another gun out there. I want to see if Hood can target it. Maybe ignore the rest of the enemy and just target that one gun. Oh, shit. Hood may have just taken a nasty enough shot to have to bail. Definitely got AT guns all around the place here. Oh, yeah. Hood's going to have to get out of here. So I think at this point, the only reason they're not retreating is because they're trying to get as many casualties on us as possible. What's that? I've never seen that before. 
under fire. Oh, uh, okay. So we've taken some prisoners, wow. Amazing, finally some German prisoners have surrendered. And they're kind of far away from the battle, so they must have really been desperate. A lot of boys over here not really sure what to do. Need something to drink. That is probably something you would say in a desert. If there is anything we can do to offer a ceasefire, shame on me for not knowing the ceasefire button. We'll find it pretty damn soon. Oh boy, another nasty hit on Freeman. You better start returning fire here. Looks like Meredith has lost a track.
trying to get to that next main point of the battle over here obviously things seem to have died down pretty much and just looking at the dead all around the place this was a hell of a fight stay down boys looks like the SDKFZ has been totally abandoned Well, hello there, guys. Um, so basically, what I wanted to explain there about the end of the mission was, um, you know, I actually got a phone call. So I pressed the uh, escape button, which brings me to the pause button. Um, I tabbed out, and guess what? I couldn't get back in the game. Um, I also have had other errors uh, that basically show that there is a file um, that is not being saved properly or that there's no disk space to save the game. Uh, and it doesn't just happen when I'm saving the game. It happens when I'm touching any of the options. So I don't even mess with them anymore. Um, but I do love the game a lot. It has a lot of potential. I just hope that these bugs are addressed, fixed, and that's going to make me a very happy man. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and, of course, join the channel. We already said subscribe. What's wrong with you, Agrippa? Good night, guys.